Hey there, Maniacs viewers. you watching the Main Man Channel. It's not just the name, it's the way of life. You have to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. So, that being said, make sure you check me out on Parlor, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, OogeTube, GunTube, anything I didn't mention. If you feel called to, check me out on Patreon. Help the channel keep coming to you if you want to. Anyways, I could use the help. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching, and what we got today is, we got another knife review. This is another knife that James Banks, one of my subscribers, sent me. And it, it, this is a, uh, this looks like it says Ethan Grow CH 3531-G10. I'm assuming the G10 is the type of steel it's got. Survival Hiking Green. It is made in China, but it's pretty decent steel. Comes in a nice box. Uh, it come wrapped up good. I did take it out and look at it a little bit. But it come wrapped up real nice. So I'm going to take it out of there. I'm going to put that box on the porch. That way it don't get soaked. And uh, we're going to take a closer look at this thing. Okay. So what it is. It is got that green handle which is pretty nice. It actually says D2 on it. So it's D2 steel. I don't know what the D10 on the box stands for, but D2 steel is pretty good steel. It is a survivor chopper, like I say, survival cleaver. Like, all right, it does open up pretty good. I did have to help it a little bit there. It won't do it all the way on its own, but it does lock pretty good. Now, what you got going on here is you don't really have to worry about it closing up on you that much because you're holding right there. As long as you've got a good grip on it, she shouldn't close up on you, okay? Now, if you want to, you can take it a little bit different. You could probably go right here, move this finger up right here. That way it's more of a cutting kind of thing for things or something like that. Maybe some carving or something like that. But she's definitely not going to close on you right there, but you would have to watch slipping that finger onto that blade now will this thing shave oh buddy we're going right there where my watch is notice my manly main man arm hair I'll, I'll hit it with a little heat vision first that way make it a little bit easier on it but anyway all right that's shaved bald now no hair whatsoever look at that that's main man hair. I should, I should sell that. I can get a million dollars of hair for it, probably. But anyways, so this thing will shave. All right. Now, that being said, we know it'll shave. We're going to do a little bit of a quick test on it. We're not going to spend a bunch of time on it. I'm pretty sure as heavy as this is, it wouldn't slip out of my hand. But I'm going to go get my big welding glove just to make sure. What we're going to do is, so you see on the table here, I got a bunch of stuff where I've been doing videos and stuff on the table. Forgive me for that. But I'll put you down right there so y'all can see. Now, what we'll do is, we'll take, we'll do the cut test. I don't really think there's a need to do a thrust test, but you could thrust with that tip, so we'll do it anyway. Okay. Now. We'll do a thrust test three times. We'll do three good cuts. And then we'll go three good chops. Then we'll cut on this plastic right here a little bit. See how it looks. And we'll go from there. So let me get my welding glove real quick. And we'll get to it. Well, okay, folks. I got that big welding glove right there. So we're ready to go. All right. We're going to do a thrust test, even though it's not really made for thrust. We're going to do it anyway. Alright. I got a couple of pretty good deep thrust in it. I mean, it went maybe an eighth of an inch, maybe even a quarter of an inch in there. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to do the cut test. I'm going to do it a little bit lower. It's my last cut test. I did it about right here. The cut test. This is going to be three good cuts, nothing crazy, something like you would do in a self-defense situation. So here we go. Here it is. 
Okay, folks. That one did pretty good. That one did good. It really got down in there deep. But that middle one, folks, just with that on that hard plastic, that's a good eighth of an inch deep. And it probably is right here with this one too. Yeah, folks, that that really looks good. So that's very surprising. All right, let's do the chop test. Hopefully, I won't knock the block off. I'll actually put my hand right here on the end and do it right here. Be real careful. Do three good chops like we would in a self-defense situation. We're not gonna be reaching way out here. So let's lay this thing down. You can see the results of the chop. I even got in there pretty deep with that. So, I guess that answers that question. Is it still sharp though, is what we need to know. All right, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut this plastic. Oh yeah. Be careful with it. Is the angle it is. Yeah. See if we can't do another cut. Once you get it started, though, it really, oh yeah, folks, I mean, just that right there, even. yep, she's still sharp, well, she's still shaved, main man, well, let's see, oh yeah, folks, she'll stay, she'll still, Shave my arm hair pretty good right there. So, folks, what do I think about this thing? Well, I like it. Uh, it's D2 steel. Good stuff. Thank you, James, for sending this to me. That would be like a good little... If you had this baby with you, and it's got an ambidextrous belt clip where you can put it on either side, I do believe... Actually, no. The belt clip on this one ain't that dexterous, but it's got a good one on it. So this thing right here could be a good little survival knife. It cut meat. You know, you could chop tree limbs with it. You could do whatever you needed to. Make you some sharp sticks for spears. You could make it out in the woods with this thing, folks. And uh, if you want to, just keep this thing real good. You could use it as a straight razor. No problem at all. But anyway... Thank you, James, for sending me this. Thank you all for watching the Main Man channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you're watching the Main Man channel. It's not just the name's way of life. You got to improvise, adapt, and overcome each and every day just to make it in this cruel old world. All that being said, folks, you know, just please like, share, and subscribe. I've been filming videos for the past hour in the rain. I'm going to get in the house after I cover up my plants in the garden because it's supposed to freeze tonight. The temperature's dropping. And uh, I'm going to eat me some stew and uh, probably film some more videos. But anyway, they'll be at the end of the house, guys. Thank you. I'll catch you next time.